All right, next day, looks like we got some Amazon packages coming in today. So we'll have a winch cable today and a tow strap today. I'm still figuring out uh, the trailer issue that we are having, but both CRVs are officially sold. I gotta go to the bank, get some checks. It's gonna be a good run around day, but I'm gonna pay 6,000 of that 12,000 today. And then when the rest of the money comes in today, or Monday, I'm gonna pay the rest of it on Monday. And then Tuesday, we will back into Hot Shot. So this weekend, I also have work on a that black truck that you guys saw. So we'll be doing the turbo on the black truck uh, sometime this weekend. So turbo, transmission change, and a lift pump. So we'll be doing all of that this weekend. So that should be pretty good content for you guys. All right, so for some reason, the bank that I usually go to is closed. I had to drive all the way out to Mechanicsburg, 25 minutes just to go to the bank. Whereas it used to be like five minutes up the road, so that kind of sucks. But I uh, got $6,000 check written out, so that's taken care of. Now I just gotta write the other six on Monday when the rest of the money comes in. We're working on the ACH uh, check now. Should, we should be well more than good because I've been saving up all these payments. It should be like a good 20,000 hitting the account by by Monday. So I think already, uh, I think eight has already hit the account. And then the other 12, uh, we should be good by Monday. So it's just just a waiting game at this point. All right, so I did make mention in the last video, yes, we are selling the white truck because obviously it's sold. They offered good money for it. So we're getting the white car inspected now. I just got the two tires that are getting mounted and balanced. Our winch cable should be here today, so we might be able to do that. It is snowing a little bit, but whatever. So we'll get this thing inspected. We'll go do some trailer maintenance. And guys, like I said, we're gonna start looking for a 5500, a two-wheel drive, because that's what I wanted originally but that white truck just came up out of nowhere. So I don't gotta tell you guys a million times, we are, should be good to try to start looking for a 5500. So, I mean, I'll start looking, but it has to be what I want. It has to be perfect. So I'm not sure yet if I want the super long bed or I want the shorter bed. I, I'm leaning more towards the shorter bed just because I, I like the look of that eight foot bed. Like I said, I posted on my Instagram what we were gonna do with the white truck uh, with the over fenders and a catwalk. I think that that would be pretty sweet. We'll just do it to a 5,500 short bed. I think that'll that'll look pretty pretty sick. So we are gonna try it. We, we are getting there. But right now that truck costs me money to store it every month. So it's like, might as well take the money while I can, take my $3,000 profit and my free transmission and go from there. Yeah, that truck, that truck saved me 3,500 bucks. So, because the transmission I put in my truck. All right, we got the tires mounted. We should be good to pick up the winch cable at home. So we'll get these mounted today. Using the Accord to store the tires. So we'll take these out to the trailer. And we're gonna move the trailer down to one spare since I'm a local driver and not OTR like I used to be. Same with the truck. Truck has one spare instead of two. This thing's gonna squat pretty hard. But we do have, check this out, right? Look at that. Fresh stickers. So get these installed. We'll go to the trailer once the winch cable shows up. We've got to do some paperwork on the computer and we'll get out of here. Those throttle cables are super hard to find, but for the fuel shut off. So as I was saying, I did go and get a, a choke cable because I was tired of I'm tired of shutting the truck off with the clutch. It's been two years now. Um, I'm just over it. So I am going to do basically what Break It Brothers Diesel did. when I, he's, His videos were the ones that I watched uh, to do the 12-valve swap, and I learned how to do it from him. He put a cable like right in that area, and then all he does is just pull the cable to shut it off, which honestly, a lot of guys even do that with their second and first gens just to get rid of the fuel shut off solenoid, which I do think is a good idea. I kind of like that. That's pretty much how I'm gonna do it, which a fuel shut off is just, it's way more reliable, it's simpler, and it's literally just a cable. So I'm gonna do that. We are headed to the trailer now. My winch cable isn't here yet. I'm gonna install that tomorrow, but I am gonna put the new tires on the trailer now. All right, couple of things. Here we go, replace these. I'm gonna put them up on the neck as spares. At some point, I'm gonna get two more tires ordered, um, which actually I did tell you guys, I'm only gonna run one spare, so I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do for spares. I need to get rid of this white rim. I don't like that. I don't like that at all, actually. And that has a new tire mounted on it. That sucks. 
I might have to unmount or just repaint them all. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I got to get this winch cable off and I think I could probably just put the spare up here. Um, it's either up there or in the belly, but I'll, I'll put them back on the neck until it's time to get rid of all that. So, which guys, I couldn't figure out where um, this, the bushings in that are bad. So I don't know where to actually buy the bushings. I don't know which bushings to get, but it's the bushings, not the equalizer. So if someone could, see this one's fine. This one here, just it just has a lot of slop in it. So if the bushings are bad, I need to know where to get them. If you guys can give me links to it, I'll order it and get it fixed. But we should be back on the road Tuesday. By the way, guys, guys, I, I just, this is a record month for me. This is insane how much money. Now, I, don't, I, I didn't get paid everything yet, but this is a record financial month. And I think if we can keep up this effort, that 260,000 gross will easily be done. So I, uh, I'm gonna keep, keep pushing for it. Stay, stay hungry. We're gonna start getting all the stuff that this thing needs and just start ordering pretty much, like I said, everything. If things need replaced, we're just gonna order stuff within reason. Here's the two new tires back here. Get these guys thrown on. Ah, there we go. I need to get some balancing beads for all these because I'm not gonna be running weights. Okay. Ugh. Tripping over winch cables and stuff. Couple of things, keep going over this thing. I'm actually getting kind of excited about refurbishing and going over this trailer because we're actually spending the money and doing stuff right, making it nice, you know, one step at a time, zip ties. Kind of nice that every tool I need to work on this truck and trailer is back here. So, there we go. Found out, I realized why the previous owner had this mounted over here was because of clearance reasons because you can't pull the car all the way in here so i'm gonna move this to like down here ish and then we also need to get there's a allen head in there i gotta get so i can get this cable off i'm gonna get this cable repaired just to have it as a backup so we'll mount that somewhere i need to make something for this thing here um, I want to be able to like mount it back in here somewhere, like preferably up here. So, and then I'll cut these off and probably might just, might just weld them up in here and be done with it. Cause I, like I said in the previous video, I don't like that this side is higher than that side. They ruined it for me. So I'm not gonna try and fix it. I'm just gonna cut it off grind everything smooth this needs fixed this needs taken off and by the time this inspection gets done there you go by the time this inspection needs done again i will um this thing will be in my name i, I owe twenty five hundred dollars on this trailer i just paid 350 bucks today so this thing will be paid off pretty dang soon this is how my day is turning out let me grab the clamp, which I have no idea what I did with it. Maybe back here. No idea. I had a little black clamp somewhere. Right threw it in the bed, didn't Oh, there it is. So what we're working on is I've got this thing nicely mounted. I need to get some screws because I want to mount this. I'm not that solid. Um, now I'll be able to access that screw right there. Oh, cool. I can wiggle that. Can't even think about it. There we go. So I'll be able to get that. And then I'm trying to work on something to hang those up so it doesn't get caught on this anymore. All right. So this bushing right here is the one that I'm, that is in question. I need two of those. There is a lot of slop in here. So, and they, whoever had this last welded the bolt, which is fine. So I want to replace whatever bushing is in this one and in this one. So link down in the comments where the, uh, or what 
what kind of bushing that is so that I can order them because I'll just do every one of them. All right, that's one tire done. So we have fresh rubber all the way around. These probably have like 12,000 miles on them. Uh, I do see why Kaufman rates these trailers from the factory at 18,000. And I was wondering why, and it seems like a normal, typical 10 ply, these are 3,000 pound tires. So that means it's a 18K on the axles as opposed to, you know, a 7K, which is what the axles actually are. But it doesn't matter because I have the trailer degraded to 17K. So even though there are three 6K axles, it's, it's 17K trailer. So had a DOT officer actually point out the one day that I had a label on the trailer from the factory. Right up here on the neck, or on the under the box, you can see right here, there was a label that said 18,000. And I didn't catch it. And he let me go. He was like, just gonna let you know, you know, that's a CDL combination. He's like, you, you got lucky. I, I got very lucky. So we'll get this side off here. Throw that up on the neck, and then it still bothers me that that's like that. I, I can't wait to cut that off and just put one of these spare tires somewhere. Use the pry bar to get this up high enough since, you know, the it's not all the way off the ground. Then just give her a good, good kick. It'll work out. All right, now we got all three of them, and get that guy out of the way figures he goes that way so boom I'm gonna get these wheels painted or get some covers ordered for them at some point as well just to kind of match the truck since we have the nice wheel covers on those we will uh, have to do that on these so I think it'll look nice so I'm gonna look for a set of them until one day maybe I don't know if it'll make sense or not but 14 ply tires on this trailer. I feel like the whole point of this trailer is to keep it light. So I may not ever do 14 plies on this thing and just keep running the 10 plies. But if I get a 5,500, obviously I'd probably get a, a bigger trailer at some point and just keep this one for this truck. But I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. 5,500 um, would be to replace the 3,500 because I wanted one in, in general before, but it had to be specific. Short bed, black, and I don't know if we should do Ison or a, a G56, because I don't like the G56, but could I get a 12 valve to work with an Ison? You guys let me know if you think that's possible. But yeah, I don't think I'd go to 14 plies on this unless I would, I mean, I like the idea of the bore wheels, but they're pretty expensive. But this trailer is very limited by its, its construction design and the 10 ply tires hold up very well these truck tires are really really good but they're only rated for 18,000 so I may at some point just re-register this thing at 18,000 like it came from the factory but we'll see all right here's where we are at both tires mounted back up on the neck look at that and then this one's really low I don't like it I'm gonna cut it off there we go. Cool. Three good pieces of rubber back here. Now, thing is, the two front and the back tires have never given me an issue. It was always the middle, or any tire that wasn't brand new was the one giving me the issue. So we'll see just how long these things last, which I'm not gonna remember the mileage, let's be honest. So I'll just replace them when they need to replace. These Coopers I've heard really good things about, and they've been great on the trailer so far, so we'll just keep running them. So, and then once uh, once we get the winch cable replaced, I should have just done this, but I didn't realize I could just put the winch cable there and just pull that with the winch cable. So put that back to being straight, and then we'll get something here to uh, keep this straight, kind of like Diamond C has a little thing that folds down. So I kind of like that idea. All right, so put all the straps along the D-rings just so they didn't sit out on the deck. So that way I can head out Tuesday morning. Um, throw everything up here. I'm gonna redo the clamp ends. So I'm gonna cut them. I need to get rid of the spare tire and I need to find them. I need to make a mount for this. And then that should be it. We'll get our cable thrown on tomorrow. I gotta throw air in the bags and we'll throw our, let me grab it here. We have a throttle cable. 
or choke cable that I will throw on. So this will be our shutoff, hopefully tomorrow, because I'm not gonna do it tonight. It's getting a little nippy. So do that and that should pretty much do it. So that's pretty much gonna do for the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'm gonna tell you guys for the next couple of videos, uh, I haven't been reading, or I've been reading the comments, but I haven't been responding to many just because it's really hard and really difficult to spend the extra hour, hour and a half a day to go through and do all that. So if you guys actually have serious and personal questions or need anything answered, feel free to send me a message, links in the description. But let me know uh, what you guys think we should be doing, maybe some advice, and that's, yeah. So as always, end of the video, I wanna go over everything down in the description, Amazon affiliate links, go buy anything down there. So Amazon affiliate links down there, any of the tools, any of the parts you buy for your trucks, I get a little bit of a kickback for that. Uh, Coinbase, you get free Bitcoin, uh, same with Celsius.network, use my code down in the description after your first $400 deposit, hold that for a month. You get $50 free Bitcoin, also another free $50 of Bitcoin, so you get $100 total if you use my code and code HODL50. There you go. I am actually opening up a account for my son, Liam, and hopefully, we're, and anytime he makes money, instead of spending his money on something, well, obviously we get him toys and all the other stuff, so he's definitely spoiled. Instead of just doing that, he instead of spending his money, we're actually going to be investing any money that he makes into Bitcoin. They get pay you a weekly yield. So the goal is by the time he turns 18, he'll have a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know, to his name. That's going to be huge at his age when he's 18. So like I said, goal, if he could have two or three hundred thousand dollars saved up by the time he's... 18 that gives them 11 years bitcoin in i can't imagine what the price of bitcoin is going to be in 11 years so hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in the next one appreciate you have a good one peace